Hey guys, in this lesson, I'm gonna show you how to deploy the unified CloudWatch agent. And we're gonna do so using Systems Manager. Now there is a bit of a cheat sheet in the course download for this particular lesson. In the CloudWatch folder, install CloudWatch agent. Now, as you can see, the first thing we need to do is create an IAM role with an EC2 trust policy. And then we've got to add these two managed policies. I'm logged into IAM and I'm on the roles tab. I'm going to create a role, give it EC2 permissions so that we get a trust policy allowing EC2 to assume this role. And then I'll just paste in the name of that first role. And there it is. That's the CloudWatch agent server policy. And this has a variety of actions allowed for CloudWatch, like put metric data, putting log events, describing log events and so on, and getting parameters from parameter store. So that's one policy. I'm just gonna, I've got that selected, of course, and now I'm gonna clear that filter. The next one started with Amazon SSM, so I'm just gonna search for that. And it's the managed instance core that I want. So I'm gonna select that option. Here we can see we have a lot of systems manager permissions. So I've now got two permissions policies attached. If I click on next, give the role a name, I'm gonna call it CloudWatch Agent Server Role. And then making sure that you've got both policy documents attached, create the role. My role's been created, now I'm gonna to go to EC2, I'm gonna launch an instance, and I'm gonna attach the role to the instance. Now what else do we need? Well, Amazon Linux 2 AMI is fine, T2 Micro is fine, I don't need a key pair for this exercise. I'm gonna leave it in the default VPC, and I'm gonna allow SSH from anywhere. So really, the only thing I need to do is just come down to IAM instance profile and choose the CloudWatch agent server role instance profile that we just created and then launch the instance. So that's it for EC2, we've got our instance launching. All we really need here is an instance that has those permissions policies so it can talk to CloudWatch and Systems Manager. The next thing we're going to do is head over to AWS Systems Manager. So I'm just gonna type Systems Manager and open in a new tab. Now you may need to run the quick setup in Systems Manager. So in here, what I can do for now is just choose under Host Management, Create, and I can have Install CloudWatch actually enabled here, so it should happen automatically. And I'm gonna allow it for all instances. But we're actually gonna push it off anyway. So let's save that configuration, and we should see some information and some data actually appearing on our screen once it's fully set up. Okay, that just took a couple of minutes and we can see that we have a success message here. So what I'm gonna do now is come down to run command, and we can see there's already some activities here in progress. So these are actions that are being performed by Systems Manager because it's found the resource, which is our EC2 instance. So it's updating the CloudWatch document, installing Amazon Inspector, and more. If we go to command history, we'll see there's already a few other things that have happened. We've got the update SSM agent, the patch baseline, and the install and manage CloudWatch document. Those activities have already completed. Now, if you click on the command ID here, you can see some more information. Firstly, we can see the instance ID, so we know it's running on the instance that we just launched. You'll see the status as well. Now, what I want to do is come back up to run command and choose run command. And what we're gonna do is choose this option here, AWS configure AWS package. Come down and make sure that the action is install. And for the name, you want to enter Amazon CloudWatch agent. You don't need to fill out any other information, but you can choose the instance as well. So we can select the instance by choosing manually. Scroll down to the bottom. I don't want an S3 bucket to be created or some information to be sent there. So I've deselected that option. And for the rest, we'll just leave the defaults and then choose run. So that's gonna run, and that will just take a couple of minutes to complete, and then we'll have the CloudWatch agent installed on our EC2 instance. That was nice and fast, and we can see we have a success. So let's go to instances. I'm gonna select my instance and connect via EC2 instance connect. So now I'm on the console. Back in the document here, we're going to install collect D. This is going to be used to collect the logging information when we're using the CloudWatch agent. So just install CollectD, make sure you type yes or Y, press enter, and that will complete. Back in the document, we then want to run the wizard on the EC2 instance command line. So I'm gonna run this command sudo, and then the path to the agent wizard. So copy that entire command from line 16. Now during the wizard, we're gonna specify additional log file collection, and we're gonna use var log messages. 
So back in the console, let's paste this command in, press enter, and for a lot of these, the default choice is okay. So we're on Linux, so I just leave the default choice and press enter. Yes, we're on EC2, enter again. Yes, we'll leave root to be uh, for running the agent. Do we want to turn on the statsd daemon? Why not? And which port? Well, I'll just leave the default port by pressing enter. Collection interval here is 10 seconds. Okay, let's just press enter. And again, I'm going to leave the default aggregation interval for one minute. It's asking if we want to monitor metrics from collectd. Well, yes, we just installed collectd, so we're good there. And what about host metrics? Yes, let's collect those. I'm going to leave the defaults for per metric core. And again, for dimensions and aggregation. So actually high resolution is where it's sub 60 seconds, but 60 seconds is fine for our purposes. Now I'm going to select advanced metrics. So I'm going to type free here. Am I satisfied? Yes, I'm satisfied with that. This is where it's going to ask if we have an existing log agent. No, we don't. So make sure it's two. Do you want to monitor log files? Make sure you type one and that's for yes. And we need to enter the log file path. For this one, we're going to use var log messages. So copy the path from line 18. Paste that in, press enter, and press enter again and again. And for log group retention, I'm just going to keep it for five days, so item four. We don't have any additional log files, so I'm selecting two as the option here, and I'm not using parameter store either. And that's it, it's now finished. So we've gone through the wizard, and what it's done is it's created this config.json file. And that file has the configuration settings that we've just specified through the wizard. The next thing to do is to run this command to get things working. So that's the command on line 20. So let's paste that in, press enter. Seems to have worked. And then lastly, let's start the CloudWatch agent if it's not started already. Paste that in. So that's it. Everything should be working now. Let's go over to the CloudWatch console. If I go to metrics, and you can see straight away I've got the, another custom namespace. This one is CW agent. And there's several different metrics in here. So these are the additional metrics that are sent to CloudWatch now that we're using this agent. And you might find that more are coming through soon as well. We did choose the advanced option. I'm expecting to see a few more turning up over time. The other thing that we should see is if we go to logs and log groups, we've now got this log group called messages. And if we go into this one, we've got a log stream, click on the log stream, and now you can see whatever's being logged in var log messages on the Linux instance is actually being sent through to CloudWatch logs. So we've now got a record of the events that are happening on the Linux instance. Now that's it for this hands-on lesson, but please leave your EC2 instance running. We will be using it in a subsequent hands-on when we go into more detail on logs and filters.